Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and to an ultimate Christmas gift guide for kids. This year I have scoured the internet, I've scoured the shops and I've come up with such a comprehensive gift guide that there is definitely something in this video that your child will absolutely love. I'm a mom of three myself, there's a few things in here that are products my children have just used for years and years and loved, but there's also a few new things, a few things I'm actually gonna gift them for Christmas as well, but I really hope you enjoy it. I'll put all of the links to the things I'm talking about in the description down below and to make it really simple, when I'm talking about products, I'll put a number on screen and that will correspond to the links in the description so it's super simple to shop them and I'll also put timestamps throughout this video so if I'm talking about something you think that actually wouldn't work for my child, you can just skip ahead and see all of the products. There's also games in this video, so many things so I really hope you love it and I'm also going to be doing a giveaway in this video Video. So one of you will win £250 to spend on Amazon and get loads of these toys for your child and just I want to help towards someone's Christmas. So all you have to do to enter that is to like this video, comment down below and make sure you're subscribed to the channel um, and you'll be in with a chance to win. I'll put all of the T's and C's in the description as well but good luck and if you want another chance to win I'm also doing a Christmas giveaway on my Instagram account accounts as well so feel free to go over and enter that as well um, but yeah with all that said I know that was a lot um, let's get into my ultimate Christmas gift guide so the first thing that I wanted to share with you guys is Squishmallows. I only recently discovered these. We walked into a toy shop and the kids were going crazy for them. And since that, I feel like I've seen them in so many different shops in Sainsbury's. Uh, there's loads online as well. So we've got Jackson, a Yoda one. They're just like super squishy, soft toys. They start out at about nine pounds and go upwards. So I've got Jackson, this Yoda one. I've got Caleb, this little bubble tea one. And then you can even get these really long ones that like sit on their bed. They can almost like, there was a picture of a child like laying with it like a little pregnancy pillow almost. Um, but it's gonna lay on their bed and they're just really, really squishy and lovely. So, and my kids seem to be going crazy for them. So I wanted to share those. The next gift is amazing for any child, but especially if they're into art and coloring. This is a set of 120 Ohuhu pens. And I love the case that it comes in. When you open it up, it is like organizational heaven. And I find that my kids keep them tidy because because they can put them back in this case. So this actually was about 34 pounds, but you get so many pens, it's all the ones they're gonna need for the year, but they do also do smaller Ohuhu sets as well, so maybe I'll link one of those. Um, but my middle son is a really keen artist, so he absolutely loves these. And actually, while I'm talking about pens, he also really loves paint pens. He specifically likes the brand Posca pens, but they are a little bit more pricey, um, but he really, really loves them, so I will also link those. And something else that my kids have absolutely loved is Marble Mania or Marble Run. Inside this you get all the marbles that you're going to need and also building pieces so that you can make your own marble course and you can change it every time you play with it. This was about £24 and I really like that it came with a nice storage case so that it's easy to put away and store in your toy room. And this is something that is on my youngest son's Christmas list. This is called Aqua Gels and it looks so cool in this set you get all of the gels that you're gonna need. There's different colors, there's a glow in the dark one, there's a glitter one, and you pour it into molds. And then as soon as you put all of the gel in the mold into water, it becomes a little like squishy creation and it happens in seconds. So I just know he's gonna love it. It just is like a really creative, fun gift. And sticking with that theme, I also love washables. With this, you get a plain white felt animal and then little coloring pens and you can and color them but then when you bath them it all comes off and you can basically start again so again if they're artistic I think this will be perfect for them and a perfect Christmas gift would be an Udi this is the softest big oversized hoodie and my kids love them especially in winter they're just super cozy every night pretty much after a bath my kids put these on and just hang out on the couch in them you can get all kinds of different characters on them as well you can get plain ones that start from about $12.99 this is an Among Us one for my middle son. This was about 22 pounds, but they literally do so many different ones for boys and girls and even adults. And yeah, it's just a really cozy, nice gift. 
And it wouldn't be a Christmas gift guide if I didn't include Lego. For me, we have to have Lego every Christmas. My husband and my kids will play with it during the day and they just all love Lego so much. So I wanted to show you a classic brick because you basically get all of the Lego that you're ever gonna need within this. And then it's a really nice storage box as well. But obviously there are so many different sets you can get, like whatever your child is into, there will be a Lego set for that. So maybe I'll link a few of my children's favorites, but yeah, Lego is such an amazing one even for adults like another gift that your kids will play with over and over again is kinetic sand if you've never experienced it before I would describe it as a mix between sand and play-doh and it never ever dries out so it's brilliant and I love this set because it comes again with its own storage case there's a theme here I obviously love the storage cases but you can also get so many different kinetic sand sets like we've had the ice cream one before the rainbow one the swirly one there's so many and another classic that I have included in every gift guide because it's just been one of the most played with toys that we own is play mags. So a set of play mags is about 40 pounds for an 120 piece set. And that's pretty much all you're gonna need. This actual set is from about 2016 and it's still in perfect condition. It's basically magnetic tiles that they can build houses with, towers with, um, car garages with, anything and my kids still play with this now. And yeah, it's just a brilliant set. And because my kids love Play Mag so much, we have also got some of the accessories like the Play Mag cars so they can build their own buses, build their own cars. But yeah, it's such a great gift for literally any age. You could get this for a one-year-old and they would be able to play with it. But even now, like my kids still love it. The next gift is a little bit messy, but it is so much fun and my kids absolutely love it. This is a tie-dye set. It comes with three t-shirts within this box 18 colors, the gloves you're gonna need, all the elastic bands you're gonna need, basically everything to make really nice tie-dye shirts. And I've done this a couple times with the boys and they just absolutely loved it. And they also love then wearing the t-shirts afterwards. And it was actually really easy to make the spiral tie-dyes. And yeah, we just had loads of fun. So I would highly recommend maybe something to do outside, um, but yeah, absolutely love it. And this set was about 20 pounds. And this gift would be perfect for any child that loves building. My youngest son loves Lego, he loves Minecraft, and he loves this fort kit. This was a lockdown purchase for us, but it's been absolutely brilliant. It's a 120 piece fort kit, so you get lots of these sticks, and then you get these connecting balls as well, and then they can build different sized forts and towers and structures, and you can even put like a sheet over top of what they build to make it a proper fort, and it's just really fun. And it's quite reasonable as well. I think they're about 30 pounds for a set like this and my children loved it so much I actually bought it for their preschool as well so yeah I wanted to recommend that and next up, I wanted to share with you a brand that makes really lovely gifts. They're called Craft and Crumb, and a lot of them are like baking sets. This is actually a sweetie jewelry making kit that I thought would be perfect for my niece. So you get everything in it to make like necklaces, bracelets, things like that. But last year, I actually got Caleb a little pizza biscuit making set, and it was only seven pounds, and it was really, really good. And they do so many different sets that I wanted to kind of share that with you. If you've got like a keen baker or cook, I think they'd really like these kind of sets. And I also wanted to share with you guys an idea if you're getting your child a surprise gift that might be more of an experience or a day out or maybe tickets to a show or a holiday, something like that. Um, recently, we booked a trip for Caleb's birthday to Center Parks. And because it was just like an invisible thing, I really wanted to get something for him to actually do to find out about it. So I found on Etsy, there are so many great ideas on there. They do scratch cards or even like puzzles so you'd build the puzzle and then it will say what the surprise is so it might say we've got tickets to whatever show it is for Caleb I got this card and it says hey Caleb get ready we're going on an adventure too and then you scratch this bit off and then it said center parks which is like his favorite place in the world so I just knew he would love it but it was just nice to have something like physical to give him so if you are like booking a day out I don't know to the zoo or something like that you can actually get some really cool like surprise prize gifts on Etsy. 
And this next one is perfect for younger ones and also a brand that I think makes really nice wooden toys. This is a Melissa and Doug cutting fruit set. So my children had this set. They loved it so much. My son actually had a play kitchen and then he would cut the fruit up in his little play kitchen. It actually makes me sad that we still don't play with this, but it is brilliant. If you have a one-year-old, two-year-old, three-year-old, I really think that they would like it. The fruit comes Velcroed together and then you get a little knife and you cut it up. And again, this comes with like a nice storage box as well to hold it all in. So yeah, this would be a great gift and it was about 17 pounds. And this is something that my son really wanted for his birthday. This is an electronic basketball set. And as you play with it, it keeps score and it will time you and it is just amazing. We found this in Smith's and he was just playing with it for so long that the security guard took the balls away from him because he just wouldn't stop playing with it. And it's only 40 pounds. So I thought this would be a really good gift. Yes, it's quite large in size. We're gonna put it in our playroom or I suppose you could have it outside. And there are cheaper versions of this on Amazon. And a new present for this year that I think is gonna be really popular is the Bitsy. I'm actually gonna give this to my son. It's so cute. It's almost a bit like a Tamagotchi, if you remember those going back that far. Um, but it basically opens up and then there's like a little interactive pet in there that you can feed, you can pet, you can clean up after, and then it will actually grow into an adult. And you actually get 15 pets within this that you can look after. They've all got unique games and it's just like a really interactive toy. Um, so yeah, it's about 32 pounds, but I think my son will really love it. Something he can take care of as well. And another Christmas classic is Play-Doh. My kids have absolutely loved playing with Play-Doh and you can get so many different sets. You can get them from ranging from like a few pounds up to like this set, for instance, is about 12 pounds. I thought this was really cute. It's a dog grooming set. And out of all the Play-Doh sets we've ever had, my kids always seem to really like the hair cut ones. Um, so with this, you kind of squeeze the Play-Doh through so it's like dog hair and then you can like cut it off and groom them. And I actually thought that this dog looked a little bit like our dog. So I thought it would be perfect for my kids. Um, but yeah, there's so many different sets you can get. So I would recommend Play-Doh. My next suggestion is something with wheels. I feel like when you go out on Christmas day, people aren't walking, they are gliding because they've just been gifted a bike, a scooter, a skateboard, something like that. So my kids have really loved the micro scooters. You can get them from about two years old. They're really easy for them to control and you can get accessories like seats that they can sit on. There's two big wheels at the front and then a small one at the back. So it's really easy for them to control themselves. This is actually a slightly older trick scooter which is my son's um, and then for Caleb I've actually got him a skateboard this year this was only 20 pounds in Smith's I thought it was such a good deal we actually went in there and he was playing with it for ages but we have quite a few skateboards quite a few bikes and scooters and it's just such an impressive gift like this was obviously 20 pounds the micro scooters start from about 50 pounds but you know with a big bow on it under the tree it's a great present the next item that I wanted to share with you is a Tony box. I've shared this in the past. It's something that my kids have really loved. It's almost like a music box, but you can also listen to audiobooks as well. You get the Tony box itself, but then you also buy the little characters that sit on top of it. And when you put it on top, it can read a story, it can sing music as well, and you can get all kinds of different ones. Um, and it's also really easy for them to operate themselves, like the control are so easy. Sorry, this one's starting to tell the story now. Um, this is Stick Man. And then if you do, like if your kids love it and you get loads of characters, you can also get a really handy little um, Tony storage box where you can keep all of the characters in it. So at nighttime, when the kids go into bed, they can choose a character, you can put it on, they can listen to an audiobook, and it's a great sleep aid. I think it even has white noise on it as well. This is definitely a main present because the starter set is about 115 pounds. So you get the box and then you get a character as well and then if you buy separate characters they're around 15 pounds but it is something that you'll have for years next one i wanted to share with you is a little bit niche but it's something that i've got for my son and it is a dry robe so this is like an oversized jacket with a really fleecy lining that is perfect to put on after swimming or after surfing or football or hockey they come in some really cool colors as well and they're just really cozy and will 
last them a really long time. They're not cheap. They start at about 90 pounds, but you can get cheaper versions or you can also look on places like Vinted to get secondhand versions as well. And if you have a toddler, a really impressive gift that I've shown before on my channel is the Leapfrog ice cream set. This is about 35 pounds and we had this for years. The kids would constantly play with it and especially if friends came over, everyone seemed to want to play with it. It would make sounds, it had different ice cream flavors and it's just a really impressive big gift for Christmas. And along those lines, you can also get a play kitchen. There's so many different places that do these. You can get an amazing reasonable one from Ikea or there's actually loads on Amazon as well. And we had like a kitchen or we also had like a cafe or market stall at one point as well. So for Jackson one year, we got him the kitchen and then we actually got all of the food to kind of fill it up as well. And he used to play with it for ages. And it was just like a really nice gift that he used for years. Another idea is a sports kit or a football kit from your child's favorite team. My kids live in these and they always want more of them. Actually, the brighter the kit, the better for them as well. So they support Tottenham, but they love any bright Larry kits from other European teams as well. So I wanted to mention that. And I'm actually doing a whole football gift guide because I buy so much football stuff for my kids. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe because I've got so many ideas if your child is really into football. And if your child is into cars, like my eldest son, I used to just play with them for so long. So if they are, I would totally recommend you guys investing in a nice train set for them. We had a Brio train set that I've actually packaged away and I will be getting out for our grandkids again. And they just got so much use out of it. And also a car garage. He used to love playing with his little car garage and he would collect his cars and play with it for ages. So that is also a great idea. And I also wanted to give you an idea if you have a baby. My friend highly recommends the Coco Melon Baby JJ Interactive Doll. I'll put a picture up here, but if you have like a one-year-old, a two-year-old, chances are they like Coco Melon and they'll love this toy. Something my son has got a lot of play out of is this little life pet. So he's got the koala. We bought this a few years ago and they're basically little soft toys, but they're a bit more interactive. So they'll like breathe, giggle, snore, and make different noises as well. Um, if he's cold, you need to put the blanket on. So if I turn it on, you might be able to hear. He's sleeping. And then like, he makes different noises. Like if you put the dummy in, he closes his eyes and sucks it. So it's almost like an interactive doll, but obviously it's an animal and there's so many different ones you can get starting at around 20 pounds. And an amazing gift is something like a Merlin pass. These start out at about 99 pounds and it's a pass that gets you access to loads of different attractions and days out. I think it gets you access into like at least 200 days out a year and to places like Legoland, the aquarium, the zoo, stuff like that. So this would be a great gift from a grandparent or as like a bit of a main present. But also it's just an idea if you've got a local aquarium that you can actually get an annual pass for, something like that would actually be a really nice present. And I don't want to encourage screen time, but this is actually an amazing tool. So something like a Nintendo Switch or an iPad would make an amazing gift because let's face it, sometimes it really comes in handy like when you go on holiday or you do want to allow them to have a little bit of time on a screen. So with the Nintendo Switch, they can obviously play on this when you're out and about. You can buy all kinds of different games for it like Mario Kart, Sonic, basically all the games. Um, but you can also play with it on your TV. So you can actually take the controls off and then they can play the games on your TV as well. And an iPad is also an amazing tool. My kids actually use them at school um, and you can download so many different games for that as well. And it's great if you're traveling or you're at a restaurant. Nintendo Switch starts at about 260 pounds, but they do do a light version, uh, which is cheaper. And an iPad mini is about 320 pounds, but we always buy them secondhand. So if you go onto the Apple website, there's actually a refurb section. And if you go to that, they've got secondhand products that have all been like checked and refurbed and they are actually a little bit cheaper. So we always just tend to do that, especially if it's for a child, you know, you don't need to get 
like a brand new one. Something my son is obsessed with is Rubik's Cubes or fidgets. He's really into maths and he's worked out how to complete Rubik's Cubes and since then he has just had such a love for them. He's actually got so many, we've got him a special little storage bag to keep them all in and he's got a timer so that he can time how quickly he does it and he just really loves them. So yeah, Rubik's Cube would be a great stocking stuffer or gift. The cheaper alternative to a kitchen is a cardboard house, castle or rocket. I don't know about you, but my kids love playing in cardboard boxes anyway. And you can get some great kits that are actually like a castle, but then they can also draw on them. They look really impressive when you set it all up and they start from like 10 pounds. You can get them for about 10 pounds in Hobbycraft or there's also other ones on places like Amazon or not on the high street. Next up is a happy napper. This is such an adorable toy, but it also becomes a pillow and a sleeping bag. So you can see it's like a soft toy like this, little unicorn, and then you can pop it open and then it can be like a sleeping bag for movie nights or sleepovers and it's a rainbow. And they start out at about 35 pounds. You can get all kinds of different ones. So this is obviously a unicorn one, but you can also get even bigger. Um, and this is a shark one, but yeah, just really cozy and I think the kids will love it. And now I wanted to share with you my kids' favorite games that they play over and over again. So the first one is Grabolo. I don't know why I always want to say Grabola, but it's a brilliant game. We always take it on holiday as well. There's loads of little figures and then some dice and you lay them all out on the floor, roll the dice, and then you both have to um, go against each other to get that figure first. So that is a brilliant game. And I would say you could play this from about three years old. Similarly, Double is one they can play for a very very young age. It's like a matching game. You can get all kinds of different ones. This is a Harry Potter double set, but there's an original one and there's other ones as well. And yeah, I would totally recommend it. Another one we take away with us. And then of course, Uno. I've talked about this a million times before. Uno is such a brilliant card game and there's all kinds of different variations of it now as well. So you can get Uno Flip, you can get Uno Extreme. So if you already have Uno and love it, there's loads of other ones that you can also get. My kids also really like five second rule. Um, so you get little cards in it and a little timer. And then depending on what the card says, name three things that have wheels. And then they have to quickly be like bike, car, you know, things like that. I couldn't think of another one. <laughs> um, but yeah, that is a really good game. And there's also a five second rule relay game or a travel one. So you can actually get smaller ones than this as well. My kids also really like guess who, and you can get different ones. You can get a football guess who, which is perfect for my kids or Marvel Guess Who or the original one as well but that is a brilliant one and it's a great one to play on Christmas Day as well with family um, and then this one is a new one for this year if your children like bottle flipping I think this will be perfect for them annoyingly this box is broke but ignore that so this is a chicken and a hot dog that you can bottle flip so obviously you could just get a bottle but this is like a little bit more fun and I also want to show you pens silly so it's like Pictionary but with a pen that wiggles and moves all over the place so it makes it like really funny really hard to do so you take a card and then obviously you have to draw the picture but we also really like connect Four, so a bit of a like take on like connect Four for this year is I've got my son dunk so it's dunk for so you almost have to throw the balls in and try to do connect Four but like with a basketball theme. So I thought that would be quite fun. And then the only other one I wanted to share with you, although we have got even more that I could tell you guys about is Think Words. So again, you get cards and then they have to, like say this says um, pizza topping. So then they have to like choose a letter and say a pizza topping and think of the words. So yeah, that is also a brilliant one. And while we're talking about games, I also wanted to show you this. It's a little card holder. So for someone with little hands that's playing cards or games like Uno, they can actually set their cards up in this and see them all really well. And it's only five pounds. So I thought this would actually be a really cute stocking stuffer or add on gift. And then I also wanted to show you this book, which is called Manifest for Kids. It literally just came out and I love thinking and talking about manifestation. 
so I thought it would be such a great introduction for the kids and just has like some really nice things in it about being grateful and how if you're grateful it's like magic and the more you're thankful the more you get and I just think there's like some really nice lessons in this so this obviously would be for slightly older children um, but I'm definitely gonna gift this to my 10 year old my next gift idea is crocs and also the gibbets that go on the crocs so this summer my boys really wanted crocs for our holiday so instead of sliders we actually got these obviously you can get them in so many different colors and then you can also buy the little gibbets to personalize them in the croc shop themselves they can actually be a little bit pricey about four or five pounds per gibbet but if you go on amazon they do these big packs of gibbets that are really reasonable so we got a set of like the um, initials and then we also got a super Mario set as well but there's literally everything on there and then the kids can kind of put them into the holes on their crocs and they really loved designing them and that kind of thing so I think that would also be a really fun gift. I also wanted to give you some ideas for some very big ticket items that we have given our kids in the past and that have really stood the test of time and they play with all the time. So the first one is a football goal. As I mentioned, I'm doing a whole football gift guide, but a goal is an incredible gift that my kids play with pretty much every day. Another thing like that is a trampoline. We actually bought our trampoline in lockdown, but it is one of the best investments we have ever made. We all play on it all the time. We've got one that is called a spring free trampoline and it's so good like I can go on it my husband can go on it it can take our weight and it's just really good quality and apparently it's one of the safest trampolines that you can get and then I also wanted to tell you about a gymnastics bar we bought this for my son um, for one of his birthdays and he's really into gymnastics anyway but he loved it so we bought the mat that goes underneath it and then he would like do flips on it and they used it so much and it was actually quite reasonable and the last two items I wanted to share with you guys is the Barbie camper van and the Barbie dream house as well. I actually asked you guys last year what were your kids most loved Christmas presents and so many people said that their kids keep loving and playing with the Barbie dream house and the Barbie caravan. So if your child is into dolls, um, I think that would also be an amazing, like really impressive big gift for them. Okay guys, so those are all of the items I wanted to share with you. I know it was a lot, but as I said, I really hope that you got some good recommendations and things that your kids will really love. Let me know in the comments below, what are your kids asking for this Christmas? What are you gonna get them? And don't forget to enter the competition to win a 250 pound Amazon gift card. Good luck and thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.